Almost everywhere you look across the east side of Yellowstone, there are steam vents, mud pots, hot springs, and geysers. These are all evidence of the immense amount of geothermal activity in the park. Yellowstone sits on top of a massive hot spot, basically a large chamber of magma below the surface. This magma heats the crust and the groundwater in complex and interesting ways, resulting in all the phenomena that you see in the park. In fact, Yellowstone has the greatest concentration of geothermal features in the world, and they were the reason that it was made the USA's first national park. Personally, I feel like it makes the park feel prehistoric and primal, and you get the sense that nature is in control here, and you're just a visitor. Of course, the most famous geothermal feature in the park is Old Faithful, which is a geyser that pretty reliably erupts every two hours or less, and it's been doing this ever since its discovery in the 1800s. In fact, early explorers would throw their dirty laundry into it just to have it expelled a short while later, nice and clean. It's definitely an essential stop in the park. Another essential stop is the spectacularly colorful Grand Prismatic Spring. Here you can walk right next to the spring on a boardwalk or get an even better view from the nearby Fairy Falls Trail. The brilliant blue color comes from the minerals in the water and the deep browns are due to the heat-loving bacteria living in it, which are called extremophiles. There is also Mammoth Hot Spring, which has created a dazzling array of terraces made of travertine. These range in color from pure white to brown, and seem stacked on each other like a pile of coins or pancakes. There's also the bubbling mud pots. These guys are formed due to a heat and sulfur-loving bacteria whose waste products dissolve the surrounding rock, creating a thick mud. These areas are super interesting, but also very dangerous. You don't want to fall in. If you're feeling lucky, you can visit the Steamboat Geyser, the largest active geyser in the world. It previously would only go off every few years, but this year it's been going off several times a month. I had just missed it by 12 hours. Oh well. There's many other areas and geyser fields that I didn't have time to visit, but all of them looked fascinating. Just come here for yourself and see what looks cool to you. If you're enjoying the channel, hit subscribe and watch out for my next video where I see some amazing views and go on a ridiculous hike in Glacier National Park.